prevailing wage job. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. Any other questions? We have a first and a second. Yes, we do. Yeah. All in favor of approving items three and four with one vote, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Ayes have it. Motion passes. Okay, Mr. President, that is all I have for this. Public comment. Public, public comment. Any public comment? Okay. Sir. 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 Mr. Miller. Hi, uh, this is regarding the... Um, we need your name and your address, please. Uh, my name is James Muller. I live at 25 Nesco Manor Road in Drums. I own my own house. I uh, graduated from Luzerne College with a 4.0 GPA. I don't have any criminal record, anything like that. Um, this you is... Your name and address. <laughs> well, I'm just giving you a brief background. Uh, anyway, I've lived there for 14 years and there's at the school at this stem school it's the hazelton area academy of sciences um there was somebody that committed vandalism to my car and um, i reported it and recently uh, mary ernst called me back and said that she wanted to put no trespassing signs up um I am asking that you please don't do that, and I'll give you the reasons why. Number one, this was an isolated incident. Uh, this first time this ever happened. Now, I could see if this happened a second time, a third time, then I could see it being necessary to put no trespassing signs. Um, this lady loiters. Uh, she takes a fold-out chair, puts it in the middle of the parking lot, and sits there. On Labor Day, she took out a blanket on school property and just laid there, and Mary Ernst saw it at 5 o'clock p.m. on Labor Day. Um, there's a group of walkers, they're regulars, and there's very, very, very few people that, that walk through there. I am one of them. There's also an older guy, he's 65, his name is Jack. I walk with him. There's, there's a guy named uh, Ethan. We all walk together. We walk on the sidewalk uh, that's not school property, but Jack has to walk to his house. He lives behind the school. There's a red brick wall, and there's a, there's a walking path. You have to cut through that parking lot. He has to go through the parking lot to walk the trail to get to his house. Otherwise, he would have to walk on the highway along 309. So what I'm saying is we keep it moving. And I don't see any problem with us walking as long as we keep it moving. We don't stop and loiter like this lady does. Um, and she is the problem. She committed a crime. So she should be the one that should not be allowed on that property. I didn't press charges. I was, I was asked if I wanted to be subpoenaed. Here's the reason why I didn't want to go to... seconds remaining. I didn't want to go to court because it, I would miss out a day in work. I would not gain anything monetarily. So I didn't want to have to go through the hassle of going to court. All I'm asking, and I was told by uh, Pat Loftus, uh, office, I was told by Officer Pat Loftus that it's up to the school board whether or not this lady should be allowed on that property. I am asking, considering she committed a crime of vandalism and loitering, that one person should not ruin it for everybody. She should be the one that should not be allowed on that property. And I don't see any problem <coughs> with people casually walking through just the parking lot as long as they keep it, keep it moving. I asked permission from security just yesterday, and I got permission from... I got permission from Lisa Calabrese. Uh, she said that she doesn't see any problem in us walking through the parking lot as long as we keep it moving, and she doesn't see any problem with me parking my car there. She said that it's okay. I got permission. Uh, the reason that I park there and not anywhere else, it's, that's the only place with cameras. If I park anywhere else, 
Someone could vandalize my car and get away with it. This lady did not get away with it. She was caught red-handed vandalizing my car. All I am asking, and I was told that it would be up to Mr. the superintendent if that lady would not be allowed on that property. That's it. When, when do you... When do you want to park there? I mean, during school hours or after school hours? Um, oh, yes. Very good point. Um, I don't in any way go there during school hours. I would never go there during school hours. I go there. I only park my vehicle in the parking lot uh, because it has cameras, and I, I don't go there during school hours at all. When I go there, it's completely vacated. May I ask, what did she do to your car? It's so disgusting, I can't even say it, but I have her license plate number. I don't even know this person, so it's not someone I have a personal vendetta against. I don't even know this lady. Why did she do it? She, I have a miniature toy poodle, right? And he does not go on that property. He does not, okay, I don't always carry a bag with me, but if he does go number two, and he doesn't go on the school property, I go back to my car, I get a bag, and I pick it up. She assumed, because I wasn't carrying a bag with me, she assumed that I wasn't picking up after my dog, because there are, there are people that go there that bring giant dogs that leave big giant you-know-what, <laughs> and they just leave it there. And I, I agree with her that that, but I have the second smallest breed besides a teacup. He's this big, he's a... He's been going there his whole life, okay? We're going there for exercise. She's going there to loiter and to vandalize, okay? That's my point. Um, and to answer your question, I don't go there during school hours. Yeah. Well, you, you know what? It is school. I understand what you're saying, but it is school property, and we do have no trespassing signs up here by the high school. Correct. So to just say, I, I see where you're coming from, but to say not to have her come is how do you stop one person yeah. from not coming? Here's, here's my, here's and, why. And the, here's and the rest of you. And, and then you're saying other people are bringing dogs and leaving whatever there. That's school property. And I just feel that we need no trespassing signs down there also. And I, I understand what well, you're saying. Well, what I'm saying is the, the one person, uh, she committed a crime. That's why she shouldn't be allowed there. That's my point. Yeah, but she's that crazy. person, but what about the other people that bring their gigantic but, dogs and yeah, they do it? I mean, they shouldn't yeah. be doing that either. You ha in order to police that, you can't just make one exception, which you would yeah. be one exception there. Because well, the other people aren't going to stop doing it. Yes, I've been informed that the left side is not school property like over the, the sidewalk and over is not school property but to the right where the trees are there's trees that's school property and yes whoever leaves a mess should be held accountable yes so you're basically saying you just want to park your car in our lot and walk around you do what do you just walk around I'm, no. that development yeah, yeah, we walk around the entire, it's not just me. If you look at the cameras right now, I'm sure there's a car there right now. I'm not the only one. There are, car, there are cars that park in the parking lot, but it's drums. There's no trouble down there. The people that walk there, there's runners. There's runners that go there, and we don't cause any problems. This lady is new. I think she just moved here because we, we have never seen her before. May I make a suggestion? I, I think that it's now turned into a, a back and forth that typically isn't yeah. what's engaged right. in. I think the board has heard this gentleman's uh, detailed concerns. Take it under advice I think that you. your superintendent uh, can discuss that with administration and, and make a decision. Yeah. Uh, and for whatever this is worth, I just want to caution you. I'm not your attorney. This isn't legal advice. But if someone hasn't been convicted, you, you need to be careful about saying that they've committed a crime because if you haven't prosecuted her and there's not been a decision there has not been a confirmation of the commission of a crime so i just i would caution you about that yes i have a question about that um i'm not i'm not going to be answering questions well, about that can i still prosecute her that's i can't give you that advice either but i think that this this discussion yeah. is uh, we we understand your position we thank you for it but i think we're, we're I, this yeah point. pat loftus told me that it's he said i should have done it when it happened it happened on june 13th 
So he's not he's not letting me prosecute now. I, you'd have to speak with the officer, sir. I, I can't give you any guidance on that. Okay. Can I have the head of the police department call me? You can. Yes. I've been trying to reach out to Dan Gentile, and there's another guy. I forget what his name Mr. is. Mr. Uhas, right there. Mr. Yeah. He's the head right there. Right there. Right there. Oh, can I speak to you later? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Th that's Thank all. You. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you for your concern. Well, Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Is there anyone else? Motion to adjourn. No. Motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. 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 Okay. Thank you all very much. Have a great evening. <laughs>